Welcome back to some more bridge game. We're gonna be chilling and building some challenge bridges today And we're gonna go on to 312 the challenge is that there is an additional boat and an additional plane So a lot of extra obstacles All right, so it looks like we need to do a drawbridge and we need to avoid all this stuff This doesn't actually look that hard not gonna lie because like none of the additional stuff really seems like it's in a way because I can just do a drawbridge I oh, you know, what's annoying about this actually? Okay, this is annoying because I can't do wall braces That's actually a little bit uh, Testy it's gonna be in the way so obviously we have to have the a car go through here leaderboards still aren't working That's a, that's a big shame who would DDoS a bridge game Eunice maybe it's someone who's salty about Eunice They're like Eunice is stealing all the leaderboard spots if I can't have them, nobody can. Honestly, I wouldn't see it past someone. You're just that upset about Eunice uh, being amazing at the game. Uh, so I'm gonna try a very simple design. This, I, I've hinted at this and I kind of fucked around with it before, but I've never, or I haven't full committed into this design since Polybridge 1, where basically it's a triangle bridge, it's kind of central design like this, and then we're gonna have hydraulics going here just to kind of pull this back and basically everything is gonna be supported by I think I'll do cables the only issue is I wish I could have this arch be higher I did actually see the uh, the zero dollar bridge from Eunice that the way he did it was way more of like an obvious glitch that should be patched than anything else it's so hard to explain it, it's like the way it was done makes me like look at the devs and be like how'd you even let this happen because it's not like he abused the physics engine or anything he just literally like sent double inputs or found a way to do a double input basically which was really weird but uh it should be i would be shocked if it isn't patched i don't think this is gonna stand i just want to see if it gets anywhere close hmm hold that hold well actually this works way better than expected i want to see if the hydraulics are gonna work consider me shocked i'm actually really happy i added that middle cable because that doesn't interfere with this oh and the hydraulics are a little off but that is totally fine. I think if we just pull this back, we're just gonna keep adjusting. Well, the actual fuck was this? This was beautiful. I'm also surprised the steel's in collapse. But you know what? This only weighs 10 polygrams, so it's not that bad. All right, we're so close. It's not quite there yet, but I mean, this this is literally all we do. We just have, need to kind of keep pushing this away and down, and it eventually gets there. Why do I change the length of the hydraulics instead of adjusting the contraction mount? Well, for here it wouldn't work because it's already max contracting. I can't contract it more than I am already. And two, if you want to save maximum money, your hydraulics should always be on 50% expanding and contracting. And then, you, uh, and then you just shorten it, lengthen the hydraulic accordingly so you can save money. Because hydraulics are the, the single most expensive uh, item in the game. You want to have as little length of hydraulic as possible. I just realized it's asymmetrical. I could cut some stuff off of here then. I didn't realize how good this is. Here's the thing. Leaderboards aren't up though, so I'm not even going to shave this right now. It's just going to be more impressive when I shave this in the future. We're going to move on. Oh, the diagonal elevator. So we've learned a little bit since we did this. This moment, this bridge was a massive teaching uh, moment the first time I did it. I learned a lot about hydraulics. So we're going to do a simple design and we're going to pivot it very cleanly have this go to here and then this will be attached here this will be locked in and here's what i can do i can move this in so then i can do a full length one like this that that works out pretty well i think and then let me lock this down and i think just for good measure i mean this is a little expensive not gonna lie but i just want to make sure that the support is there so then i would like the hydraulic to go something like this maybe um we'll try it We'll just, we'll just run it, see how it turns out. It may be great, it may need some improvement. All right, so right now it sags in the beginning, partially because it's weak. I could also reattach this to somewhere different. This is a better idea, I think. Let's try here. Okay, there we go, that's very close. It's not quite it, but it's close. Um, we have an issue that, well, it's not stabilized. So what I would like to do is have this concept, but with multiple attachment points like I have here. This joint is stagnant, but this will be able to move uh, and guide it up. It'll allow it to swing it up, basically. The length is going to stay the same, and if this is vertical, the point will be exactly where it needs to be for this to connect. Yeah, pivot point, sure. I like that. So we need more pivot points so it can actually not be just swinging. It needs to be balanced. It's just this awkward setting this up. 
Let's bring back this. This is really ugly. Um, we're just gonna bring this stuff back. All right, so this is a second pivot point. Maybe we don't actually need this third one. Oh, two is pretty good. Now let's see if this lines up. Come on, well, this could still work even though it doesn't connect. I mean, it works. It's just a little bit off. The hydraulic, if I want it to connect, the hydraulic's gotta be slightly different. That's good enough. It's a win, right? Actually, funny enough, this is good in a way. This is good in a way, because actually, if I have it not connect, I don't actually need this at all, so I could save money here. And then I could probably save money in other spots as well. All right, so a little bit sloppy in execution, but we got her done. <laughs> it still actually is a bit short. Eventually, I'll come back and shave even more money off, but it works. It's fine. How did, how'd the stress go? I think the stress was worse in the beginning. Yeah, the very beginning was the worst stress point, but 68.63.8% is pretty good. All right, let's carry on. Low flyer. Challenge no sta- No static joints? The only joint is where the goddamn plane is? So basically, it has to be free holding. The only reason this joint is here is that we can start placing material. It has to be balanced to exactly zero joints. What we're going to do is build some roads. Let's let's do this bit by bit. And then what I'm going to do actually is a land brace. How do I do this shit with something like this and then this here? So there's going to be a brace on the land and the wall. And then we're going to have to do a stronger version of this basically. Now what sucks is this thing weighs 21 polygrams. So then we're going to have this go on both sides. And then we're going to have to build a bridge. And we need to do under supports on top of everything. This is weird. Well, it's a challenge level. It's meant to be hard. I guess they're not gonna- they're not just gonna give- you know, give it to you. It's, it's no cakewalk at all. Uh, so this is more symmetrical. Maybe it'll hold better? Oh god, it's not even close. So, I think actually our land brace needs to be better. What if I have like a generic arch? Like this right now. And then we'll figure out something for the middle section once we get there. So even, maybe even K- oh, fuck, this is so expensive. I'm gonna just go massively over budget this, just to see if this concept works at all. Let me just see if this holds up a little better at all. Okay, let me- if I reinforce the middle, like so. Does this get there? Okay! Concept is there. Imagine if this works for only 20,000 over. Uh, it probably- well, it could, it, or it couldn't. Wow, consider me shocked. I think, well, the top part is actually the best part. This is green. I was thinking about making this wider, but clearly it's not necessary. Because then I think what I can do, I, I can't quite get rid of this stuff in the middle, but can I get rid of some of it? I don't think I can get rid of this, right? That's, that shit just doesn't work. Right? Yeah, okay, because we have some other problems. I think I just need to go maybe wood. Just the basically toucher. I know the wood triangles are a little sketch, but I want to see if I can start here and then go somewhere better afterwards. Because this is straight up just under budget. This is actually pretty close. This isn't going to quite work, but if I steal this up, it's quite nice. Uh, so we're going to start with a working over budget bridge, and then I'm going to cut it down. We're only a thousand over, but I do think we probably need some more steel. The steel on the bottom is really nice. What other games are am I considering to play? Yeah, so tomorrow's going to be Demon Crawl, as y'all know, but I'm going to be doing a World of Goo series that'll be continuing. Uh, I st played it for two hours during the Variety Mega Stream and had a lot of fun with that. People loved watching it too, so I'll definitely be doing more of that. And I do want to complete the Talos Principle, because there's a steady audience for that, and obviously I want to beat the Farewell Chapter of Celeste. Uh, ooh, this is good looking. It's closer. So this stuff over here was going bad before this broke. Like, this was having an issue, so I'm wondering if I almost want to fix this, even though this is what broke. Okay, it is this one. Um, it is weird that it's breaking like this. What if I just commit- well, it's, it's still not symmetrical, just because the- the terrain is different on each side, so I can't make a symmetrical arch, but maybe I'll just try making this steel and see if it magically fix itself. Will I finish this- finish the snowman b-sides? Yeah, probably. I think I'm gonna do every single game. Oh, hold that thought. Every single game I played during the Variety Mega Stream. Oh, I actually learned two things from this. First off, well, this was just a good design. Second thing I actually caught, I don't know if anyone else saw it, but this road was actually a little too high. So I wonder if I could do this. Am I ever gonna play balloons again? Of course not. 
All right, now we can try going for ropes. Yeah, the only balloons game I would play is a new game at this point. Or if a public challenge editor comes out for BTD6. Holy shit. This is such a price cut. Well, let's see if it works. Rope. Uh, my issue is that it sags. I'm not... I hope... I don't think any of this cable ever got that stress. So I imagine the rope itself won't be that stressed. We'll see though. We'll see if there's some butterfly effect with the cable. Because that's what I'm afraid of really. And we got it done. The bridge that atta is attached to absolutely nothing ended up working. I am surprised that even though there was a massive gap in the center, devoid of ropes, that this still holds up. The steel is, I guess, just really impressive. I and also, we are very close to breaking, but it's called a working bridge. Thank you very much. Next, Looper's Revenge. Challenge another car goes backwards. What? So we gotta do a loop while accommodating for this second car? Well, that can't be too bad, right? Here's how I'm gonna do this, actually. Here's how this is gonna go. We're just gonna have a simple road down here for this car to go. And then all then all that's gonna happen is that this guy's gonna be going absurdly fast. So he's just gonna kind of make the jump over. Kind of something like maybe to here, I'd say. And then we're gonna do the loop. So it's just gonna be two separate bridges almost. The only thing is I don't know if this will work. So I'm actually gonna do something like this to allow this to jump off and then allowing the other car to also come up pretty cleanly, hopefully. So then I can raise this up, uh, creating more clearance. And we got a 100k budget, so now now I understand why we have the absurd budget. So we can, we can just get her done, I think. Doesn't that look good, actually? That actually looks pretty decent. I think I'm gonna do a reinforced road all the way through this loop, though. The loop itself is a little bit questionable, but we'll run it later. Actually, hold on, let's, let's do a bit of under supports, though, first. I'll do a one of these, and then maybe we'll just chill. Maybe, maybe that's all I need. There's no way this is going to support, though. This is super heavy. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how it holds. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to suck. Okay, what if I just make these stronger roads and see what happens? Oh, okay, wait. I just need to reinforce the roads. It's progress, baby. Hold on, let's get these as well. So everything went wrong once this hit. Let's let's load this up. Maybe I could get rid of this actually, because this thing goes mad fast. Okay, so stuff breaks here. I think I'm actually gonna bring out the spring. We're gonna do oh. Okay, one spring. Well, that was fun while it lasted. The, all the stress goes to here. Oh, I should do this. Maybe this is actually helpful. Oh, that's big helpful. That's huge. Okay. Hold on. I can I can do more then. I can do more. I can do stuff like this as well to reinforce. And then this as well. A little X's actually. Bring more force towards the center instead of away from it. Actually, I should be adjusting these as well. But already we're making significant progress. Let's do this. And then this as well. Force needs to go applied towards the center to hold this up right now. Uh, look for anywhere that force is not being applied, applied towards the center. Let's maybe add one of these up here. I can actually get rid of this now that I think about it. And I could add more here. 50%. There's this as well. Uh, that could be muscled maybe? Oh, it was so close! This guy actually almost made it, but this broke, so we can muscle here. This is looking good. Uh, other stuff's going red. Uh, the bottom part. Wait, this broke? I guess I could do a muscle here, but then I'm out of money. I think what I could do is actually change up the roads themselves. So something like this, and then that. So I gotta keep an eye on this down here. This is where the stress is now. Wait, the road broke! This shit worked! Everything worked except for the road! Uh, oh, so the landing just kind of sucks. Actually, we could fix the landing then. We fixed that landing. This landing is now bad. Therefore, how about this? Um, how about this? The thing is, that puts so much stress on the rest of the bridge. Oh, well, no, that's not what why it went wrong. I think we just have less support up here. So the bottom's really suffering from it. So let's get some more support up top before I um, completely blame it on the spring. Look at that. Um, oh, it's a little better. It's a little better. As you can tell, the numbers are better. Oh, it's so close. Let me ramp this up a bit more. 
Oh my god, this was so good except for the road. Wait. Oh. <laughs> that works, I guess. <laughs> you can shave a little bit of money though. I think I need to change this still. It, it all goes wrong once it lands. Let me let me see how close it is. The back wheels. This doesn't work, does it? Like, I don't think the muscle actually does anything here. Or the spring. Well, the spring actually is a cheaper steel. That's what it does. So, we didn't want the spring to actually work like a spring. We wanted it to maybe be a cheaper steel. So, hold on. Where else can we replace the steel with the spring? So, the, yeah. We just need it to be a cheaper steel. Let's fucking go here. Can I get rid of this? Ooh, there we go. Everyone's happy. I got a functioning under budget without breaking bridge and chat gets their spring. There we go. This was pretty tricky though. This thing got really heavy. It was hard as fuck to support that uh, loop, but we got her done. On to the next one.